Hello and welcome to the episode six of Ditto Fridays, I think. No. Is it seven? Seven. Seven. <laughs> well, anyway. Hello and, well, should we just dive right into it? Let's or Because we're going to do another podcast, podcast today. Podcast today. And we've got quite a few things to talk about, really. This is technically our third podcast this season. Yeah. We did the first one was prop podcast. Yeah. The one up number five was quick Q and A. We did carpool last week, and now we're doing podcast again. Yeah, but we've got something good installed next week, I think. We do. Um, we do indeed. Yeah. No more podcast this season. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, it's something that I suppose has been there since the beginning. Really, I think. What podcast? Um, no, or next the, week. Next week. Oh, next, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been on the list for ages. It's been on the list for ages, and um, I think we're finally got around to do it. Got around to do it. Yeah, so exactly. That'd be something quite good. Yeah. So anyway, shall we dive right in? Let's go. So into this. to start off with, I'm going to set myself a little challenge. Okay. Um. So a lot of people are using sort of iPads as their main computer, and even Apple are now advertising that their iPads more like a computer now yeah and you can tell that because i've got trackpad keyboard on it yeah. blah, blah blah and i thought so i've drafted the entire podcast on here yeah and i thought well let's try and edit the video on here and see how that turns yeah. out because there's a there's mixed views on how well it is so i thought well, give it a try and see what it's Definitely. like yeah. so next if, video if, it, if it's if this video is terribly edited you can blame hate for it but next video, I'll tell you a little bit about my experience or the next podcast or something at some point. Yeah. And, well, let's get dived into the main content anyway. Yes, let's go. So, I want to start by getting something off my chest that's been a bit, it's annoyed me a little bit since the start of this week. And it's... Right. So, lockdown finished on mon Monday. Monday. You yeah. did, you did, yeah. And, well, why were the people outside Parliament protesting against lockdown on Monday when it's ended. Was there people outside? Yeah. There? I've not, I've not, I've, I don't watch the news, so I don't know this. So people <laughs> were protesting the okay. lockdown's not over on Monday. When it was. The lockdown was over on Monday. At midnight. At midnight. So what? So I don't, I don't see the point of why, why they're there. Didn't someone tell them? They, they obviously, right. So, so they were protesting, why isn't lockdown over? Lockdown when it was... is now over. Yeah. But some, I mean, to be fair, some places are still like that. Because, like on public transport, you're not wearing masks and stuff. All that kind of malarkey. Yeah, but I mean, it's still more or less your own decision of to mm. what you do. And it's like, well, why are you protesting? Because I went to the supermarket on Tuesday, I want to say. I put my mask on going to the shop, yeah. and then my glasses get falling off, steering me up and said, I, actually, I don't have to wear this anymore. It's, uh, it uh. seems illegal not wearing your mask, but you're allowed to. You're allowed to, yeah. Like, I'll wear it, but if my glasses keep falling off and I can't see, then... Like, I suppose, for me, I'll right. wear it where I can, or if it's busy, but if it's quiet, right. then personally... I mean, at the moment, at work, there's only two people in the office, so I don't have to wear a mask at work. The only time I've actually worn a mask since I started my new job has been food shopping. Yeah. And that's it. I've probably near enough the same for me. Well, I've got to wear my mask if I'm up and moving about. But if I'm sat down yeah. at a desk or anything, then yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. But I just, I'm bamboozled by why people they're are protesting. Like, it just shows that some people who's protesting doesn't actually no, no. know what going on it, in the this world. This reminds me, okay, we're going to go off tangent here, but when Brexit first happened, oh, yeah. remember the vote? Yeah. Brexit, which was what? That was... 45-55? Something like that. No, 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 I'm not about the percentage. I mean, it happened, I think it was, I think it was the first year I could actually vote when I voted for Brexit, right? Yeah. And, you, and I still remember in my head to this day, the most Googled search after what, we actually left after, Brexit, yeah. Brexit was what is Brexit? So they were going <laughs> for it without but no one, nothing at all. They just thought, what's Brexit? If you don't know what it is, don't, don't vote. vote. We'll research it and we'll put, make your decision. That's like, I always, that's like, that's 
that's like with me with politics it's like why do i change party every single one it's because i look at what they're doing and if they're doing if one's doing what i want them to do, do i'm gonna vote for them yeah that's how you're meant to do it so not just like the old, old people who just vote go, for the same thing all the time they go, yeah conservative conservative every time it's like, like you don't need to every time i have voted, i think i've voted for someone different every time i have I'm not going to say who I vote for because that's going to hold the vote. No. But well, that's think, because yeah. Most well, if you say who you vote for, you're going to lose half your viewers. If they care about politics, if they care about politics, and they're from exactly. the UK, exactly. If but, Americans watching this and they say I vote for Labour, for example, they're not going to care. They're going to go, "What the hell is Labour?" Yeah, but you know, yeah. still, it just. <sighs> Let's move on. Before Let's we move get, on. We get stressed again. So. I don't know if you've heard about this or not, but uh, not. the Foo Fighters have created a cover band called the DGs, as in the, the D and G is in Dave Grohl, and it's the DGs, the, as in the as BGs. in the Bee Gees, yes. yes. And they've well, it was released yesterday, but they've been teasing it for quite a while, and they've basically done their album with their most popular songs, like. You should be dancing, Night Fever, Tragedy, stuff like that. Right. And no, honestly, he sings so good as so, the Bee Gees. So, so, they're, so they're basically the Foo Fighters. They've not like covered the songs and done them in Foo Fighters style. They've done it in Bee Gees style. Yes. Right. And okay. that got me thinking that if you could make your own cover band for any artist or singer ever, who would you pick? Any band ever? Yeah. That's a weird one because... Like, like, what band would I... So what you're asking is, like, it's, so, it's, so what I'm saying is, like, if I said, for example, uh, Coldplay, right? Yeah. Would would I have to say someone who I think would be good to sing Coldplay songs, or what Coldplay would do to the other way around? No, so what you physically would be and where in the band. So, say, you pick Ed Sheeran, for example, would you say... Yes. I'm going to say Ed Sheeran. But well, like you can. And you just go, right, I'm going to do Ed Sheeran. As Ed Sheeran. As Ed Sheeran. Or you like could go, oh, I'm going to s- script and I'm going to play on the drums or something like that. Yeah. But who would you pick? I think it'd be funny. Well, this is weird because basically what they've done is basically like, what, like, every single like there was hundreds of Michael Jackson impersonators and there's loads of Elvis ones and all this yeah. malarkey so they've basically just done that but just gone yeah we're good we're the best at this that's what they've that's pretty much what the Foo Fighters have done they I think well they're at the stage of music where they've got loads of albums out they've got loads of floors they're just something different they're just no they're just like yeah but it's completely like left field because the Bee Gees are like High pitched, <laughs> like yeah. dance stuff, and the Foo Fighters is like basically pop rock kind of it's, dealio. I think I'd just say the Foo Fighters is the borderline between rock and pop. The no, no, the sort of the normal rock and then the screamo is sort of in the middle kind of thing. Yeah, but that's really good. But who would you it's pick? Different. I don't know because. I, obviously, I have a I have a repertoire of singles now. I have two. Yeah. And they've both been like. What do I carry back to? It's so like kind of like that era. Poppy. Pop. Poppy. I don't know how to describe it. Noise. Noise. Poppies kind of stuff. So if I want to do the same as Dave Grohl, right, or yeah. the Foo Fighters, I've got to pick something which is completely different genre. Yeah. So I can either go. <laughs> either go. Rap, you've <laughs> or like, uh, not R and B. That's the R and B because that's completely different to Backstreet Boys, isn't it? Or is that kind of no R and B is like New R&B's, York. R and B is like, like, like uh, New York, like uh, Kanye West, Jay Z, all yeah. that kind of stuff, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think because you know, R and B is kind of it's kind it's, of like, it's it's poppy rap. It, I'd say. Rihanna's not R&B, is she? Yeah. Yeah, Rihanna kind of dealio, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of 
it's the same with like Foo Fighters, where it's on the it's on the edge of pop and rap kind of yeah. thing. I think I'd probably do R and B. I think or rap. Any specific the... person? R and B. It's like. I mean, the the, the, the first thing that comes like Dug, Akon, and Akon and fucking Flow Rider and stuff like that. I think you could do Flow Rider. Well, Flow Rider was like big thing, like. Cup ten, ten or so years ago, wasn't he? Yeah. Every single he was song. a Eurovision, for goodness sake. Oh, yeah, he was, wasn't he, for uh, Cyprus? I can't remember what country. Was that last year, the last one that just happened, wasn't it? Yeah. A couple of years ago. It was some it weird, last. it was an island. I know that. Cyprus or. It must be Cyprus. I don't think it was Cyprus. I can't, well, it can't be Gibraltar. I don't think Gibraltar didn't you? No. <laughs> I can't think of any islands. It was but, yeah. some weird yeah. place. It was like, I was like, so weird because he's just been absent for. Yeah, but he's not even from that country, is he? No, he's just like that's just backing like, singer that would, kind of. That thing. would be like if we ended it with like an American singer. And so, yeah, okay, cool. We ended it with the Foo Fighters, <laughs> for example. I mean, even if we or we're going to be on topic now, but if we ended it with like the best, if we ended the, the Eurovision with Ed Sheeran in it, we'd still get no points for political. Well, you never know, but like, why don't we? Why don't we enter people like Ed Sheeran on that? Because it's supposed to be like new and upcoming, new and upcoming artists, isn't it? Yeah, but there's new and upcoming artists which are massive in this country, but we go for new and upcoming artists who no one's heard of. Let's put KSI on there. There you go. <laughs> KSI. Let's put KSI. Imagine that. Oh, the you know would blow up if that happens. My God. Anyway. Yeah. Clickbait title now. Clickbait title. Call it KSI. KSI on Eurovision. On Eurovision. <laughs> Oh God! Hmm. Let's move on. So, Nintendo news now. Oh, and no. I know what you're going to say. Is this the, is this the new Nintendo Switch? No. Not, not the Nothing o, not to... the OLED Nintendo no, Switch. I'm not going to talk about the Switch. Well, I'm going to talk about the Switch, but yeah. not that. They've announced three retro games that they're going to add to the. Oh, I read this. Switch. And have you seen have you seen the ad, the announcement for it? I've not on the YouTube video I... because hang on before you say anything right yeah I was, I was on Reddit today at work because you know free time stuff on lunch break I looked through Reddit Nintendo is one of the things I follow I scrolled down and they said you now have these three games right YouTube video yeah the like dislike ratio is on more video, dislike okay the likes were about two thousand k yeah the dislikes were about fifty thousand k <laughs> because I don't know why, because they want... Because Nintendo's got this thing where they're now just doing old games, old games, old games, old games, old games. They're not doing new stuff at all. They're all. They're only doing, like, bringing back... They're not even doing remastered versions of stuff. They're just going, it just, yeah, we've got all these old games we had on SNES and N64. Let's just chuck those on Switch. Yeah, because they're basically... They've got Claymates, which is a platformer game. Which right. is turning living creatures into clay, so you know, so you just, so you just have like, make stuff out of clay and then use it in the platform or something. Right. Then you've Not... got Jelly Boy. Exactly. What is this game? <laughs> another platform that features a protagonist that has the ability to change shape. Ditto. Yeah. So it's a ditto-based platform game. Yeah. But it's not ditto. It's this jelly boy thing. Yeah, and the third one. And then what is bomb, bomb buzzle? Oh, not, not even bomberman. Bomb buzzle. What bomb buzzle? Where players must detonate a bomb in each level while staying safe. So I think it's a. It's like bomberman. It is, but it's not. It's nineteen eighty-eight. That one coming. Exactly. Out. These games are from back in the back in my day. Nineteen ninety-five was Jelly Boy, and nineteen ninety-three was Claymate. These were all made before I was born. I'm twenty-five. Yeah. Oh my god. Like if they did that and did new games as well. Because like, what what was the so, last like big bomb? So hang on, Bomboozle. Yeah. Bomb Buzzle. Whatever bomb you want to say. Not Originally before. released in nineteen eighty-eight for the Amiga. Who make it? And the Atari. Yeah. It's not even Nintendo. And the Commodore 64. It's not even Nintendo. And then it was ported to the Super SNES a few years later. So it's not even the original it's from Nintendo. Nintendo. No. It's, it's just like... Like, okay. 
serious note, what was the last like big major game Nintendo have released? Probably Mario Golf. Yes, but that's not <laughs> exactly. That's not like massive. Where was massive. the last Zelda game? The only Zelda game that's been out has been the, 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 the first the, one, the, the first Switch. one Switch. Mario Kart, Mario, the same. Mario Kart, Mario Kart, the same one as that was on Wii U. Yes, right? uh, Pokemon. We've only had Sword and Shield. I know, but and the, do you know the next Pokemon game is? What a remaster of Gen Four. <laughs> Another remaster. So uh, Mario Party. Okay, we've had one. Yeah. There's a new one coming out, which is. A remake of the original one yeah so they're just making original games and that's it the main mario game honestly yeah it did have do you know what this do you know what the new mario game they released was i know they did like a remake of the 64 3D Ma- sunshine and galaxy yeah and then they did the didn't uh, they do the bowser's fury 3d thing. mario but they added an extra the world mode. yeah and something like that and that's it and that's the same one was on the ds yeah and you know when you did when the new Super Mario Bros. U came out on the Wii, yeah, they remade it for Wii U, they mm. remade it for Switch, and they now remade, remade it, it for. They, was, they, they did the Luigi one, yeah, where it's exactly the same game. It's just you Luigi. You're Luigi, and there's different characters in it. Yeah, uh, the one for the for the for the uh, Switch, instead of being Mario Luigi Two Toads, yeah. it was Mario Luigi Peach Toad. That's the only difference. So all they did was basically chuck a toad out. Chuck a toad. toad out. All they had to do was turn, get the photo, uh, get the photo or the graphics of Peach, and just went, just went cut, paste, and paste it in where Toad used to be. And like, change that the toad same... to a red toad. That's all they did. And then yeah, just and go, just, just go graphics. on Paint or go on Photoshop and just go hmm. fill red, fill red, fill red, fill red. There you go. Yeah, Super Smash Brothers. Obviously. That's been out since day dot. Yeah. There's no like new games coming out. No. The Donkey Konga, Donkey Kong Country, which was released on Switch. It's the exact, exact same, same one as, as the one, one on the Wii. Wii U. And the, the Wii. Wii U, yeah. So Nintendo, I know you're bringing out uh, a new Pokemon game, like a completely new one, but that's not till next year. The new Mario Kart. They said they were going to make it. No news on that. They bring. I think they've brought out a new Zelda game. But I think it's not like a proper. I think it's like a spin-off kind of thing for it. Okay. So it's not like so a proper, proper like, game. Like the like the uh, high or whatever the new one's called. I can't remember. But yeah. yeah. They need to do new stuff. Otherwise, they're going to be behind the track of PlayStation, Xbox. Exactly. Because. Obviously, it's the only one that you can do on the go, but all they're doing is going, right, we've got this whole back catalogue. You don't see PlayStation going, oh, we're going to remake all our PS1 games. No. And put... And like, I think them. you can I think you can just buy them or use the discs anyway, straight on to the new one. And the GameCube, you could put uh, Game Boy Advance stuff in it. Yes, you could. Because on the uh, GameCube, on the Cyberman's so 2 Battle, you could put your channels into your... Game Boy version and do stuff with them on like that, but the Switch you can't do that. So I'm guessing that's why they're doing it. But it's like they're not really doing new stuff when As they well, should be they doing, should be doing, doing both, both at the same time. Yeah, and focusing on the new stuff and just going, yeah, this old stuff. Yeah, we can just put this on there for you. Yeah, there'll be extra. Yes. Kind of thing. Just... So moving on. Um, because we've got quite a bit to go. So, Morrison's. Oh no, the M word. So they're the third company to begin making stores staffless, in quotation marks. They'll still need... Staffless? Yeah. They'll still need people stacking the shelves and stuff like like the... I think apart from shelf stackers... Yeah. That's about it. The rest of it. And it's... After Tesco has also revealed it, but... Have they? Yep, yeah, they have not released it yet. But the main, the first one's Amazon. But oh, well, they knew Amazon would do Amaz- it. Yeah. But Amazon, yeah. Amazon, Amazon's out. well, Amazon's one's already out. But Amazon and Morrison's is already very close. So that Amazon will just go, here you go, and just give the same technology where Tesco needs to make it themselves. But this will mean you'll be able to walk into a shop, take what you want off the shelf, and leave. Now, this again is something that. 
is a bit like the masks. It's something that you feel is illegal, but it's not. You're going to walk into the shop and go, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. And walk out. And just walk out. Well, how does it know? You have to scan a QR code to get in and then... So it's not like the thing where you, but as though you get the when you get the machine and you go around, you have to no. scan your own shop as you go. No. And at the end, you just go beep and it puts on your card and you just leave. No, it's. Why does it track what you get? Cameras and stuff. It just goes. Well, you go. I... You go in. Basically, you walk in. Yeah. You scan the code and it goes, and it goes. One, your phone is here. Two, yeah. you're wearing these clothes today. Yeah. See what you put take off the shelves, see what you put back on the shelves, and then as you walk, you get an email with your receipt, and it will charge whatever card you've set up on the account. That seems like a very flawed way to do it. Because if one day, like, you know, oh no, we've got a power cut today. Oh no, this camera's not working. Is everyone buying crisps? Then we're not going to pick those up. Because there's no camera by crystal like I think there's so also I know that I think there's also weight sensors in it as well. But like oh, the no. cam but the camera needs to look at you and see so you're picking it up. Face. It goes this 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 person this, this mug is this mug this, has it? just took this off the shelf and then if it feels the weight of it going back on the shelf because mm. you just went to look at it and then saw sort the of weight it would just go yeah. no don't put it back. I think the best way to do it, if I was Amazon, right, yeah. I would not bother with that shit, right? What I would do is in the trolleys, yeah. in the basket, you go in the shop, there's like a mini, like, barcode scanner, like, on the... But in the trolley. You like, like, what, <laughs> like what you have at uh, self-service, or whatever. Where it's, where you, you scan you the shop, but it's in the trolley. It's in the trolley, yeah. So, so like, on the what? top bit, like, where the... You have, you have the handlebar here, you yeah. have a bit there which is like a it's scanner. Cool. You pick the thing off the shelf, you beep it, and you chuck it in the trolley. And there's a screen which tells you. And it tells you, and it tells you on the screen like if it's gone through and whatnot. And at the end, you just click pay, and you can either then you just go bit your card, bit or your phone, done. You can just walk out. Yeah, that makes a bit more sense. That makes more sense than going round and going. Yeah, let me take this off the shelf. Oh no, you took this off the shelf. You bought this. Then how about if you go around the shop and go, oh, well, I don't want this anymore, and you're halfway around the shop. Because um, working at Morrison's, people leave shit not in the right place. Yeah. All the time. Well, so that's why they've got the weight sensors, obviously, because if this bottle of wine weighs something and you put some grapes on it, it's not going to... Yeah, but if you like, if you went round and put picked up like 500 grams of uh, rice and you went all the way around to like... The bacon stuff, and you picked up 500 grams of sugar, and you put the rice there, and said, "Naturally, I don't want this rice. Let me put the sugar in there instead." Someone will pick up the rice, and they'll charge them for sugar when it's actually rice. And it'll be a completely different price. Yeah. And stuff like that. You then you've got the stuff like dates. If it's just self stackers, you know. Yeah. They're gonna at some point they're gonna it's gonna be all made right. Yeah. Complete thing. So you. So do people, do, all there would be would be people out back putting the stuff in like sections. Yeah, like and the new stuff comes in, you put it at the back, and then it goes like through conveyor belts and stuff onto the front of the shelves and whatnot. Basically, and Basically, it's like. Yeah. And if there's no one in the shop, apart from shelf stackers probably doing the night shift, and then throughout the day there's going to be pretty much no one in the shop. Yeah. Basically. If you're lost, what are you supposed to do? If security guards or anything like that, so there'll be no one in the shop. There might be on the app where you say you type in a product and it'll tell you what aisle it's in or something. Maybe. Maybe. That that will get around some of it, but still. home delivery. That's all have to be about, right? Sure. Potentially, yeah. But that might. But the thing is, I think instead of doing that, they should just make more home delivery. Like, like a card or whatever. They yeah. just do home delivery. They just do home delivery. Amazon, well, Amazon used to just do home delivery. They now have the supermarkets as well. But they've only got the, like, the Tesco Metro kind of things, or whatever yeah. they're called, Tesco Express yeah. size yeah, ones, the and the rest one, yeah. is delivery. Yeah. Like, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Because, like, at Morrison's, Yeah. I know a lot because I work there, but, like, if you have, like, the deli counter, the butchery counter, the fish counter, the bakery. Yeah. How is it going to do that for fresh stuff and fruit and vegetables magic 
magic. So, so like, if you get like a big box of like, uh, let's just say, cabbages, right? Yeah. Or lettuces or whatever. How how do you know? How about if you like pick up and go to the bottom and say, oh, I want this one. No, I put this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And you go, yeah, this is on my trolley. And some things don't have barcodes on. No. Exactly. They'll find a way. They'll probably, yeah, but there won't be barcodes on anything if they don't need it. Will they? Yeah, but they'll need to, because to keep track of the stock system is based on the, the, the barcodes to go, because all the database of the system... No, but if, some, if so many people walked out the shop with this product, you know that that's many products have left. Yeah, but that's if you think it's going to work 100% of the time. Yeah. Because I reckon if, you, if there'll be a way where you can cheese it and walk out with a trolley of crap and only pay for like probably half of it, maybe even three quarters. Maybe. There's a way, there's probably a way to do it, but I still think that's not the way forward to do it. I think the, the my method of having the trolley and be, that being like a portable self-service checkout driving around the shop. Yeah, that's it. And then, then, when you, then when you go out, like the, the touch screen will just go bit card or bit phone on it or maybe that still has your account on it you use your account to unlock the trolley so you, you just so, like, so you walk out the shop you have an app on your phone yeah. you open up basically your morrison app and you go right i'm shop this is my account i'll beep to activate this trolley to my account i drive around the, i'll go and around the as shop as soon as you walk out as soon as you walk out it'll charge you still and when you, when you when you press pay it will just go and charge it'll go into your account and, sh- and use then, that card and then you unload your trolley into your car yeah. And then you put the trolley back in the pot in the trolley bay. Yeah. And then all you need in the shop would be people to stack the shelves and people to get the trolleys and put them back to the front of the shop. Yeah. Yeah. No, but you could put remote control trolleys where they go where they oh, put out the trolley bay. Automatic trolleys, exactly. See? Let me run but, Amazon and but, we can get this happening. But then the trolley is also there's some trolleys out back which have like a crane or a picker on it and that'll be a home delivery where it'll, this call will come out of the trolley and just put it in the trolley <laughs> and there'll be basically so there'll be trolleys full in a row and then whoever's doing home delivery the only person has to put it in the trolley although the thing might do that as well so you only need the drivers no because if, if you just but then if you've got self-driving vans so that will come out to your house, house, your house and, and then, then you'll get a you'll ping, get a on, ping your on your phone, phone and it goes and then you scan somewhere on the side of the lorry and then the shutters open the shutters and, you open, get your, and the trolley comes out and you just take your shop and it'll just wheel out and park neatly by your front door and once then, it's unloaded you beep it again and it'll go back into the lorry and then it'll and drive, then drive back off into the next place yeah oh, this is insane this is crazy the future is going to be weird <laughs> how many years okay before we move on to the next bit, yeah. how many years is until this is going to be a thing? Like, you Don't. did the research. When is that going to be a thing? Well, Amazon have got some out now, which work, but these have come... I think Morrison's will be... Although Tesco announced it a month earlier, I think Morrison's will be earlier yes. because they're closely linked to Amazon. Yeah. So they can just yeah, buy, buy the buy technology. Morrison's. I think Amazon might buy Morrison's at some point. I know, I know, because Amazon said, yeah, let's buy Morrison's. Morrison said, no, even though they've lost so much shit money this year and everything. I know, but they go, oh, you've lost money. Yeah, that was a few years ago. And they'll be like, oh, you've lost money. But then Waitrose brought some Morrison shops. Yeah. So. I don't know. It's a weird world. But, but Amazon should just take my idea. Well, I've patented this idea. If anyone does this idea with any shops, they owe me at least 50%. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Windows 11 is out soon. Oh no! But apparently, not every device will be able to run it so because do, do only only if you've got a TPM fitted into your computer, which is a chip, yeah. which authenticates the software. Right. So, if you, so have you got a TPM chip in your computer? No idea. Ben built it for me. Well, if you yeah, if not, <laughs> it's unlikely to probably. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing you won't be able new, to get all it. New, all new stuff is going in. All new like stuff will have it in off the board, but otherwise. How far back though? Last two years, last one year. I think two, maybe three. I okay. don't know. 
and therefore some PCs won't be able to upgrade. Well, that's the same as anything, because you computers. That, but a lot of modern computers still won't have the chips, but some will. Mm. So it's all dependent on what specific computer you've got. Yeah. But if you've got... But basically, I think it's either September or October, you yeah. can buy computers pre-installed. But mm -hmm. if you've got an older computer, you're not allowed to upgrade until some point next year. Okay. So like, why can't you upgrade at the same time? Because Cause I think it said you're, you're only allowed to upgrade computers seven months after, after the, it's been released. Yeah, like, it's, why? It's because they want people to buy new stuff. I know. People are impatient. I know, but... The what's the newest one? Windows 10. Windows also. 10, Windows yeah. Windows one, yeah. And 11, the main thing I've got for it is what I've seen of it. It's basically been redesigned. There's widgets. Oh, well, not l loads, but a little subtle. No, not subtle like There's widgets. Oh, yeah. Internet Explorer's finally dead. Woo! Bring back Google Chrome. And the task, task the manager. task manager. So you know when you press the start button, that's in the middle of the screen. Why is it? What? That's in the middle of the screen. Why is it the middle? That's the that's the that's the all I've seen. That's the main what? thing that changed. But it's so clean being on the left. It's, yeah, no, it's in the middle, and it's like. So does it go like in the middle? Like you, you haven't seen this. You might be able to see this. You won't. But. No. Will it go like in the middle, like fall down in the middle, like popping up from the bottom and go whoosh? Yeah. Or will it be like slap bang in the middle, middle? Like no, it'll be screen. from the bottom up. The bottom up. And yeah, can't you change that position on new ones anyway? No. You, or you can. If all of Windows, you can move it to the right or left. But you the can pain. Move, could you move this taskbar to be up here, up there, down there? Yeah. So if but it's, a, if it's still. A, but still, that will be at the end of each side. Whereas this is always in, in the, the middle, middle of each side. It's basically like a phone then. Like when you scroll up, if you, when you scroll down to do open like your Apple stuff, everything's like in the middle. To a degree, kind of. but not. Yeah. But I think it's so weird. I think, but if but every other Windows has been a flop. I think every other Windows has been a flop. Well, you've got. X, from XP. XP has been good. Then it was Vista, which was a flop. I thought Vista was the best one. No, Vista was a big flop. Yeah. Then it was... Seven. Seven, which was good. Then it was eight, which, which was, was a flop. flop. Then I just skipped over nine. Then terrible. I skipped over nine. <laughs> then, ten. then ten was good. Yeah. And then eleven will be... Well, if, they, if, they, if, this... if, if they've moved the freaking star bar to the middle... Yeah. People will get annoyed about it. People will get like, annoyed. What is it. wrong with it being on the left? Why is there reason for putting it in the middle? I don't know. What's the point of putting the width of putting that in the middle? That's like every Mac has had the menu bar at the top, that Apple logo where you go to all the settings yeah, and it's, stuff. It's like on the always top. been on the top left corner. Yeah. It's always it's been, been the same. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. It might look a bit different, but yeah. Everything is always in the same place. So is the button still going to be in the bottom left hand corner? Or the bo is the button... The button's in the middle. So, hang on. Right, so basically, right, you've got the t you've got the thing at the bottom, right? So yeah. this is going to be in the middle. So all of yeah. that, so, so imagine... So, so where are these, so where are my apps going? On the left or on the right of the button? To the right. To so the right of the button. But or they might be either side. Well, they there'll be apps on one side, and apps on the and other side. And there'll be this crap, which is the date, the time, the sound, the Wi-Fi thing will be on the other side, the other side of it. Then the search bar, that's going to be so weird. The search bar is in the start menu, I think. So there's not going to be a search bar. So it's going to be exactly like your phone, because the menu bar is always in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I don't think it's going to. I think that's going to flop. They're trying to make computers like phones. When they should be making phones like, like computers. computers, which <laughs> Apple are doing, Windows are just. Yeah, but the thing is, on the only problem I have with Apple is that they they like they want to like reinvent the wheel kind of thing. Yeah. Because 
Obviously, one of like it's it's this is a very simple like little thing, right? Yeah. But when you go on an Apple device, yeah, and you want to attach a document, yeah, what is the symbol for the attach? What do you mean? What's like because oh, when you attach like on an email, yeah, on a on a, on a what, yeah Microsoft or whatever, it's a paperclip. Yeah. I'm pretty sure on Apple it's not a paperclip. It's it's so at the bottom of your email there's yeah. a square. Yeah. Well, not a complete square, and it's got the app icon of what it is. It's got the app. So if there's a PDF, it will have the PDF for your logo. If there's a Word, it will have Word logo. Well, they should. Well, the generic thing for that is a paperclip, because you attach a paperclip onto a piece of paper. Yeah. All the symbols are different for no reason whatsoever. All of the commands are different for no reason whatsoever. If you want to install any software which isn't Apple built, yeah. you can't on Apple, right? Well, from before, so they used to have Intel processors on it. Mm. Mine, mine was the last year they had it in their Macs, which yeah. was last year's lot. Mm. For all of them, you can install Windows. However, for the last two or three mm -hmm. Macs, you can install Windows on it. Yeah. But you can't authenticate the Windows. Yeah. So you can have the non-authentic Windows on it. But from this year, where they've put their own chip in it, because mm -hmm. their own chip doesn't work with Windows, from then, you can't install Windows on it. You can't do Windows. Because so be ages ago, I know, at high school, you could dual boot it. Yeah, you can dual you boot it. You can yeah. dual boot it on like, the, the My One and the Two before. Mm. Which you could dual boot it and it will be not authenticated. Yeah. Whereas now, no. Yeah. Don't want to hear. Because I know the Max at uh, the uni were dual boot, dual boot, dual, 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 dual bootable, dual bootable, That's dual bootable. Right. And in every, I was one of the only people to put it in Microsoft because Apple. I was pissed off with Mac so much, I bought a 700 quid laptop with a Microsoft just to do my freaking coursework. Because it was that annoying me. Because I didn't, I had to learn all the, so I had to learn all this coding, as well as learning all this Mac stuff, and it just frustrated me to hell. And then, that's, but that's like, Macs have their own coding system now. Yeah, but why, why did, why do they go like, yes, every, every other computer until Apple used exactly the same method, they all do the same. Apple, hello, we're going to change it completely. Let's reinvent the wheel. You know, wheels have been the same for years. We've just been improving them, improving them, improving them. It works. And Apple goes, nah, mate. We're, and we're, got, we're inventing a triangle wheel got or something. Swift, which is a bit like HTML, mm -hmm. etc. But it's not. Can't play games on Apple. Can't buy Steam or stuff on Apple. You know, you, you can. Can you? Yeah. I thought you couldn't buy games on Apple. No. So you can buy games from Steam, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You can't necessarily buy like a game disc or Not whatever. Like game anymore. Exactly, but Steam and stuff like that works on it. Mm. And like top of the range, big beefy boy, which is about five grand. Yeah, because it's got big beefy like, boy five grand. Probably the same as this computer, right? It's got like really? thirty-two gig RAM. Mine's I think mine's got that. It's got like so many teraflops and whatever in there. It's just it's berserk. Because it probably it's probably slightly better than this one. Yeah. And this one cost me six seven hundred quid compared to five thousand pounds. That's the that's what annoys me because you can buy you can build one from scratch. Basically, you can get like PC specialists to build you one. Yeah. For a, a decent one for. A, probably like between 800 and 1200 quid yeah and if you go to apple you can't go oh actually can you put this on for me or can you put that on for me in different obviously this is a standard one you have this one or this one or this one and on, like, on the on the, the top of the range desktop one you can put whatever you want in it near enough yeah, that's five but grand. you and have you to have put to buy, you have to, apple. i'm guessing you'll have to buy to put the add-ons on yeah it's what annoys me with Apple. It's so overpriced for no reason. But okay, let's move on. We've been going for freaking ages. You've got probably only half a done. Anyway, to a bit with 
um, film and TV, season two of Ted Lasso is out tomorrow or today, today if you're yeah. watching. It's today, right, yeah. Today. Break the fourth wall. We're putting this the day before it goes up live. But yeah. Now that that was the the only reason I would buy Apple News, Apple, not Apple Music, Apple TV would be to watch Ted Lasso. Yeah, because that's just banger of comedy. If, if you haven't seen it, right? Basically. It's a comedy show where there's this American football coach who, like the American football, you know, the, the fake American football. The, comes over hand, the basically rugby. The basically rugby, but... When they I'm, call it football because it's, you're you know, allowed to kick it at a certain point. It's, it's called football. Because you can kick it and like... No, it's, it's called football where you use your hands and the ball is not ball shaped. Yeah. It, like rugby I think ball. you can kick it you can at, the st- at the you start. can do like a kick off yeah and then the rest is just rugby, rugby, rugby. yeah so, so basically we're, we're but i think you can pass both ways or something stupid oh, it's like, that's like netball you can't move with the ball mm. and then americans went let's do basketball, basketball because you can move with the ball and it's easier that's what like, they do with all our sports they just copy Baseball. our sports and make it basically rounders rounders but uh, what else is there American football's rugby. Yeah, American football's rugby. That's the main three, the, but hockey, hockey, ice hockey. Ice let's hockey. just do hockey and chuck it on ice. Yeah, let's ice just hockey. ice skating. Let's just chuck it on ice. Yeah. Let's make, that one's the only one where they've just not made it easier. They've made it worse. Yeah, I think I'm that's sure the, that's there the was, main ones. Because it's baseball, basketball, American football. Was it bad? Hockey. Was American tennis? Did no, American? no, we're tennis. We're tennis and badminton. Okay, because I thought, because for a second I thought we did badminton and then they went tennis. No, nah, we did tennis. I'm sure there's another sport. There isn't, because they play s- soccer. Yeah, I'm sure there's another sport though that there isn't. they've mocked. I don't think there is. I don't know, but yeah. But anyway. anyway, back to Ted Lasso. So basically, just just a brief plot of what happens. No, no spoilers or anything. Yeah. But there's this. It, London Football Club, yeah. which isn't a real football club. It's mm. like, which is Richmond, isn't it? Richmond, like the yeah. Like AFC the Richmond. Rich, AFC Richmond, yeah. So basically, which kind of it might they might have filmed it like at Aston Villa. So it's like AFC, just on the actual. Was, was I don't know what football club it's filmed at because it's it's a small club, isn't it? It is. The problem is, it's based in it's, it's a London club, isn't it? Is yeah. it London? Well, this they're based in London. Based but in London, yeah. They might have filmed it goodness well, knows where. Yeah, but basically they've got the same colour as Crystal Palace, so I think it they've just renamed it Crystal Palace because Crystal Palace didn't give them permission to use it, I'm guessing. So well but, yeah. Well, I might be like that, but anyway. Anyway. So basically, their owner yeah. was married to the owner. The owner. The owner. There yeah. were two owners, owners who were married. Yeah. One the, the guy left because he was a cheating bastard, right? Yeah. He left, which left the left the, his wife in charge. Yeah. And her revenge um, from to her because, husband because he was, loved the football club. He actually loved it. He was like diehard fan of the club. Basically, he fucked off with this younger model and went bye 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 bye. Left her in charge and think, you know what? How I am going to ruin this guy's life is yeah. turn this club. To the worst, to the worst in the club in the entire universe. So what I'm going to do is sack the manager, right? Yeah. And think, right, okay, we've got the manager, right? What managers could we possibly get? All these free agents, all these managers who you know football, right? Um, let's just go to the winning manager of the Super Bowl yeah. <laughs> from the last year. So we'll bring this American guy in who comes to the UK. So basically, he doesn't know any of the rules. And... Over the time, we get to know the players more and all this stuff. There's hardly any f- actual football played in the series, is there? Not, Not to really. It's mainly the it's mainly ins and outs, the, ins, the background, the background and... stuff and whatnot. So, so you don't have to be like a massive like football fan to enjoy it, kind of thing. No, it's just like sports themed kind of thing. It's yeah, yeah, and basically over time. Towards the end, you know, so. players go, players come out, you know, new guys come in, all this stuff, and then towards the end, without spoiling it, it's gonna be a spoiler. So turn off the next ten seconds from 
Now, so basically, uh, last episode, they're about to, did they get, I can't remember now, so long ago, did they get relegated? Or did they survive it just? I think they just survived. No, I think they went down. They did go down. I'm pretty sure. I think they went down. Yeah. But he stayed, and he's gone next season. Was to get them promoted. That's what season two is. They're yes, try and get that's back the one. To the top. That's so I'm think thinking that's one. what's going to happen is, basically, next season, they do a whole thing. They win the league. Woo, 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 woo. Right? Yeah. Season three comes along. Yeah. What they're going to do is, basically, they're going to do Leicester. 100% they're going to do Leicester. Yeah. They're going to get promoted. And everyone think, oh, this team's shit. This team's crap. And then win. And then okay. win. And the last game of the season, you know the guy who went back to Man City? Yeah. Last game of the season is going to be them two teams playing. Yeah. Whoever wins will win the league, right? Yeah. The, the, that guy will score a goal. It'll be 1-0. <laughs> and then, like, the hero of that season kind of thing yeah. will come up last minute... 2-1, you know, yeah. win the league, and I'll go, oh my god, it's amazing, season four, uh, season four, yeah. European football, Champions oh. League football. Champions League. league. Football, yeah. Basically, they're going to go in the Champions League and do all that, but probably win it, to match the plot, and then, season five, ready? Super League. No, not Super League, not Super League, <laughs> season five. Yeah. The end of season four, he wins Europe, the Champions League, right? Yeah. Gets a phone call, right? Well, it's, it's the American FA. Yeah. 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 They want him to be the manager yeah. of the American football team for the World Cup being twenty, not the twenty twenty two, twenty twenty six, which yeah. is based in America, right? Yeah. What that they're gonna go to him and go, yes, we want you for the World Cup, and the, and. The beauty of it is, that season, Champions League, they have two or three American players in that squad. Yeah. So they can bring them over to the next series, right? Yeah. So it's not going to be like, uh, like Pirates of Caribbean, like the fourth and fifth one. There's only Johnny Depp in it. Yeah. All the other characters are fecked off. So it can be basically be the same, right? And they're going to keep on going. They're going to yeah. win the World Cup in season five. Yeah. And it's going to end. Yeah. Or maybe... Yeah, that's going to end. I don't think Wayne can go from that. But that is my prediction for Ted Lasso. Five seasons. Five, se five, five season seasons. Prediction. Five season prediction, yeah? Yeah. So, it comes out to today on Apple TV. Yeah. You need, I think, you don't have to have an Apple. You can do it on Amazon. If you've got a Fire TV stick, you can use it. it. on there. Stuff like that. Yeah. If you're a PS5 user, you can get six months for free. There if we go. If you've got a new iPhone, you get 12 months for free. free. If you're a student, you get Apple Music and Apple TV for 4 99 a month. Yeah. We're not we're not sponsored by Apple, you know. No. We're not. But, you know, if you want a sponsor, you know, let me know in the comments. Yeah. Now we've got four or five questions, quick questions, and then that's about it, really. We're going to go for over an hour now. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do... Some of this will be a listen excuse exclusive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cut, you do and um, cut version. Yeah, and then the do full version, version, which is audio only. Audio only. You know, if you want more, audio only. But yeah. The world's fastest internet speed is now available. In? Which country do you think it's available in? Japan. Correct. Yes. Question two is how fast do you think it is per second? The fastest in the UK right now is one gig a second, which is only available. Is that it? Yeah, it's available. One, one gig a second. I think it's available in like the big. London. No, it's London, Manchester, Liverpool, and Birmingham. I think that's about it. Not Scotland, for No, I don't think so. Uh, it might be, but I don't Japan. know. They're super advanced. I'm going to say... If we're one gig. Yeah. I think Japan's going to be around 20 gig. 316 terabits a second. Te what? <laughs> How? What? 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 <laughs> oh, we're stuck on a gig. 
We're on a gig and they've got 300 terabytes. Second. A second. Yeah. Imagine My computer storage yeah. is two terabytes. Yeah, it it can upload my entire computer in less, less than, than a second. second. Yeah. Less than 0.01 of a second. Yeah. It can go, yeah, that's uploaded. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine me sending 16 gigabytes to ki edit Kieran. In less than a second. In less than a second when it takes about four or five hours on this internet. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Is that download? Yeah. What's the upload? That's oh, it's only 100 terabytes. <laughs> well, it will be something like that. It won't be like... But it's still... Is this... Because upload's always less. It is, but probably 100, I'm going to say. Oh, only 100 terabytes. Oh, no. Right, because if we go on our system, like, the ma the majority of the UK is on about 30. 30 meg. 30 meg. Yeah. And the average upload, I think, is about five or 15. Six. About 5 to 15. 8 to 9, around that. Yeah. That's fast. That is peak from the, on the thirty to about fifteen. So I'm going to say about hundred. Yeah. That. About fifty terabits to hundred terabits. <laughs> so That's ridiculous. I know. This is why I want to go to Japan. Yeah. Let's relocate Dero Cobras. We're going to Tokyo. We're living in Tokyo. And. Well, there's three more questions. Which two are would you rather? Ones just a general question. Okay. So, this one's a random question. I don't know why it exists, but we'll fly with it. Okay. Would you rather kill a person with a potato or a pepper? Yeah. Don't know how. Okay. But what, where do you get this from? I can't remember. So basically, potato yeah. or pepper. Salad doesn't, pepper. Or, it or, or doesn't say pepper, you can. Pepper. Just pick one now, tell me which one. Is it sour pepper. pepper or is it chili pepper. pepper or is it black pepper? We'll go chili pepper because then you can either do basically kill someone by s spicing them too much. Spicing them too much. Or kill someone by chucking a load of potatoes at them because they're quite thick. Like a giant potato. Would you rather kill someone with a potato? Like you, could, you could you could put it in a gun and just fire a potato. Potato can. I know there's potato cans, right? Yeah. If the problem is, if you're going to do that, you've got to think of what your name's going to be. Yeah. Because if you're the potato killer, yeah, you 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 could you could be. I'm trying to think of a, of a punny name now. You could be the. Uh, Count Spudgula. Count no, not Count Spudgula. I don't know. Like the that masher. Right. You masher and like mashed potato. You, What's the one on Spongebob? That's the hash, the, hash. the hash slinging slasher. The mash? The mash slinging... Sling. Gasher. Gash, gasher. Basher. Basher. The mash slinging basher. Yeah. As you know. And if you do a chilli pepper... Yeah. You could go all Mexican. Yeah. Arriba! Kind of thing. Yeah. Chilli pals. What you do is you feed them all your chilli peppers. Then when they're dead, you just jab both in his eyes. And when they're in, there's just two chili peppers in an eyeball like that. And you leave the sombrero on their head and then you just leave. Yeah? Yeah. Or if it's like black salt, you know, ground black pepper. You like can pepper spray, pepper, basically. Pepper, pepper, pepper spray onto there, yeah, and just leave a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be the pep, you'd be, I, I think I'd go for, let's go for the masher, because I want to be the masher. Uh, the number one, would you rather live in a big house, like a mansion, uh -huh. but in a high crime rate area? Yeah. Or a small house in a low crime rate area. How small is this small house? Like, let's say, a one bedroom. One bedroom? Um, is it like terraced a terraced house? Is it like a little flat? Like, is it bedroom and then kitchen lounge area? Bedroom, or, or, kitchen, lounge area, a toilet. toilet. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Is there, obviously there's just a shower. Right. Well, yeah, because it'll be in the So we like bought one uni flat from the last year of uni. Basically. Yes. Would you live there? In a low crime right area? Or mm. have a man big, massive mansion? Because even if it's a high crime rate area, you could put security. Well, it's a high, if it's a big house, you're probably going to have a big security in it. Yeah. So. If you've got that, you've probably got money. Yeah. You can hire security. Yeah. So what would you go for? A big house, obviously. 
And the last question, and the last thing on the podcast is, while you're growing up, yeah. What's your most favourite science experiment, like a primary or high school? Science experiment. Science yes. experiment. I remember like the ball thing. Yeah, the ball thing is the, the uh, I can't remember what it's called now. You put your hand on there and your hand yeah. goes like this and it goes, I like, like that. I, I like the called. one where I think it was potassium or something, you put in a, like, a massive bowl of water and it's like sparks. I never did that one. Uh-huh. I remember the big. My science teacher filled up balloons with yeah. different gases and set them on fire. <laughs> I don't know why we were allowed to do that, but we were. Biology, we chopped up hearts, livers, and all that malarkey. Yeah. I don't know why we did that either. Because I remember you were burning stuff. Oh, yeah, we burnt a bunch of birds. With, like, food. Burnt food, see how much. That's the moment of the Simpsons, I'd say. But yeah. they burnt the donut and paper has to go. Why would you burn a donut? Yeah. <laughs> and the most fun one. I never actually did it, but Brainiac, or whatever that was, it Brainiac? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was Brainiac. John Tickle and Richard Havard, another. Yeah. Water bottle rockets. I did that. Did you? Yeah. When was that? That was in. I think that was in middle school. I never did that. You didn't go to middle school, did you? I did for a year. Or two years. Because the system changed when you started, didn't it? I think I was there for a year and a half. I think it was two, the first two years, so I did half you, middle you, school. You, you one to four, went to middle school, five to six, and, and then high school. seven and so on. Seven and high, high school. Yeah. Because my, my middle school was five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And yours was five, six. Yeah. It was five, six, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I remember doing it. Mm. And I was, got drenched, but it was so, fun. I can imagine. Yeah. Maybe I'll do it one day, who knows? Maybe. Um, that's everything for today's podcast. That's everything for today's podcast. We've been, it's, been, it's been a long one, I don't know how... Well, we'll do... One's going to be short, the video one's going to be short, or if you want to have a listen, delve further into our thoughts, then yeah. give it a listen it a on listen. all podcast platforms. platforms and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, get the ball rolling. Get the ball rolling, get the views up, get the subs up. Do all that good stuff down below. Uh, next week. Next week is going to be special. something special. We've planned it for ages. We've been planned for ages. We're really going to do it. We've been hinting at it for ages. Good. We're going to be doing it. Hopefully, it'll be really, really good. So Hopefully, you guys the weather's better than this week and the week we've before. Been doing it. Yeah, exactly. We've forgot it. We've got it like the week before that. You know, you probably know what we're talking about, but you know, it's going to happen. But if you guys haven't joined the podcast. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. Give us some questions. Give us some questions. Because, so we can do like, you know, answer your personal questions. We are your agony aunts and uncles. So leave us your questions. We'll get back to you. We'll answer them. Just want to be helpful. Give back to the imposter. Around. That's what we want to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.